And this is a forecast for Scorpio from now, start of July through to the end of the year. Crazy year it's been so far. Now, with the second half of the year, the majority of you seem to be getting away with it compared to many other signs, okay? There's certain exceptions to this and certain times that are going to be different to this. Now, I do need to draw your attention to the fact that there's going to be a Mercury retrograde in Scorpio later in the year. Mercury will, the Mercury retrograde shadow will start around the last week of September and it will carry on through until third week of November. And, and it's going to affect all Scorpios born on or before the third of November. So... If you're one of these people born in early Scorpio, don't make, be making any big plans or changing plans or making changes to travel arrangements during late September to mid-November because it won't work out the way you expect. The majority of you are actually doing quite well compared to most other people. Bearing in mind that there's a lot of stuff going on in both Capricorn and Aries. The Capricorn stuff is actually working really well with you. It's bringing a few windows of opportunity for your own personal growth and self-development this year. Mars in Aries is not really looking your way. So because of this, you are not going to be so strongly affected as most other people are by much of the chaos that's coming up in the second half of 2020. However, that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Yes, Neptune in Pisces and Jupiter and Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn are all relatively smiling on you. Great. But at the end of the year, Jupiter and Saturn move into Aquarius within a day or two of each other. And that's really going to impact on those of you born at the very start of Scorpio, born on the 22nd, 23rd, 24th of October. The last two weeks of this year may get a little bit um, bumpy. And then, of course, you have Uranus in your opposite sign, opposing the sun of all of those Scorpios born on the 30th of 31st of October and the 1st and 2nd of November. And if you're one of these, then change is inevitable this year and you will either be forced into making changes, kicking and screaming uh, in, in terms of chaos, drama, disruption and being all over the place. Or it will be changes in terms of innovation, novelty, stimulus, adventure, independence, freedom and liberty. I know which one I prefer. So for the majority of you, it's actually a pretty good year. Apart from those born around the turn of a month to whom you have to make changes. Otherwise, changes will get made. Uh, but compared to most other people, Scorpio, you're not doing too bad this year rest of this year so it's okay to reach out the hand to people and help those less fortunate than yourself they will remember in times to come you're okay for the rest of the year but but no need to push it